All right, folks, we are recording, and today we're going to make a little short video. I'm going to title this uh, Wicca Around the World, and this is for a uh, man who got a hold of me from Italy. And he sent me a letter, and I kind of want to uh, read a little bit of that letter to you. And it says, Hi, Tim. Thanks for your attention. I am Laron. The Wicca Festival that we will uh, that we will take place in October aims to make Wicca known. To try to clarify any videos we would like to know, why did you choose Wicca? Why do you practice it? Tell us about the tradition you follow and your experience. And then, how is Wicca lived in your country? And if you want, you can give an ad us advice in Italy on how to experience Wicca. This is what we do with our business. Now we would like others to speak too. In Italy, as I said, Wicca has arrived a bit in confusion. So we are focusing a lot on this festival to be able to give voice to Wicca. See you soon. Thanks, Lerone in Italy. All right. Well, just to give you a background about my, uh, uh, you know, uh, connection to Wicca, uh, I'm 54 years old, and I have been involved in the craft or some form of paganism since uh, 1993, which has been a pretty long time. And I am not just involved in Wicca, I'm also involved in, in uh, Druidry and Ceremonial Magic. Um, I think for the tradition uh, that I am working with now, which is CX Wicca, I think that if you want to know more about it, um, uh, we'll get to that and just say, why do I choose it? Why did I choose Wicca? Well, for one thing, for me anyway, uh, Christianity uh, just didn't, it didn't work out for the, the spiritual aspects that I wanted. So um, I was met up with friends and things like that who in their own way, uh, you know, brought me to it. And I'm one of those people that are very intuitive and uh, I like to look into things. I like to explore uh, various traditions and things like that. I've always been that way. So, I mean, it's just, it, I, I don't necessarily like the idea of Wicca chose me, but... Um, in a way, it did. And why do I practice it? Because why do I practice any type of pagan tradition? Because they fulfill me spiritually. And I think that we owe it to ourselves to, um, to you know, just be the best that we can in our spiritual traditions. You know, um, uh, uh, you know, like I follow the CX Wicca, which was uh, a tradition that was created by uh Raymond Bucklin in 1974 via his writing of the book The Tree which this is what these two books right here are where I recommend you start first like I said this is a first printing of Bucklin's The Tree and then of course the book that really set him off to the races as far as an author here in the United States is Bucklin's Complete Book of Witchcraft these two right here give you everything that you need to start looking towards the path and working. So, for one thing, and I'm pretty sure that there are Italian uh, language translations, so definitely you want to get those for you and the people that you're wanting to introduce it to and just go from there and study it. Uh, and how has Wicca lived in my country? Oh, man, that's a big question. Uh, to me, Wicca has lived... There are so many different traditions of witchcraft and Wicca here in the United States that I can't speak for all of them. But I think it's just a good thing that everybody has a place where they can come together and do magic and worship the gods and do what it is that they're going to do. Um, and, and, you know, it's about coming together. It's like family. Wicca is not just a religious practice. It's meeting the people that have the same that have the same ideas as you and working with them, doing things that help the earth, that help the spirits, that help everybody, you know, 
it's a very proactive tradition. Um, and it's just like, it's one of the things that, you know, that's one of the reasons why we have Raven Temple of CX Wicca, which is just a very important thing in my life right now. Um, uh, and so everybody, it's, uh, Wicca can be joyful. Wicca can be mysterious. It is a mystery religion. You know, there are eclectic covens. There are uh, traditional covens that have initiations and all these things. So um, there are many ways to experience it. Um, and one thing I think that's very cool is in some instances, uh, Wicca can uh, kind of coincide with uh, the Italian uh, traditions of witchcraft, such as Strega and others. It's like, so don't give up on your, one of my, uh, you know, uh, advices is, is to not give up on your indigenous traditions, such as Strega and, and other uh, magical traditions within Italian culture, but to embrace them. And, um, you know, it, as far as the confusion thing, just work together. All it takes is just a couple people do what you can a little bit at a time and you'll get it and share it with your with other people in your country you know tell them about it uh see if your local bookstores that are available in you know rome and uh you know genoa and all these different places see if there's ways that you can start to order some of the more basic witchcraft books which there are a ton but like i just showed these these two for uh dr buckland that those are a good place to start um and as far as your festival, um, I hope it is a voice to your people that, uh, you know, that you can, um, you know, move forward spiritually with Wicca and witchcraft because um, it's a good thing. And I'm so glad to see that it's, you know, that we, uh, us in Britain are not the only places where things are really starting to take root. So, Ron, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, in this video and I will post it to my YouTube channel and I just want to say I hope that everything goes well keep in touch with me and if you have any questions um, please feel free to message me again to email me again and you know we'll do what we can to help you and to everybody that's watching this that you know that just heard my advice and and just this little bit for Leron that works the same way for you if you want to share witchcraft and Wicca with friends that are, you know, that, that you feel safe about doing it, then by all means, you know, don't hold back. This is our time and our spiritual lives are ours. So it's very important, you know, don't be afraid and just learn. Don't go too fast. Take time to digest and practice, practice, practice. Reading books is fine, but actually getting out there and doing it even things just as simple as chanting or lighting candles, just simple stuff are things that you can start to learn what the energy of witchcraft is, what Wicca is about, the god and goddess, and these other things. And eventually, it's all going to coalesce and make sense, and you will have your own experiences. Matter of fact, if you are watching this video and you've had an experience uh, with something in Wicca, then please feel free to... Uh, email me sylvanus93 s-y-l-v-a-n-u-s 93 at hotmail.com and that is for Laron and anybody that is connected to him as well and so yeah I just wanted to take this time to make a short video uh, answering his concerns and hopefully that his festival will go off without a hitch and, the, and that the people will be interested in what they have going on and I just wish you the best of luck. This is Reverend Samantha Tree Walker, the Order of Standing Oak, and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And look forward to being in the next video. Bye for now.